day 950 of the Trump administration. And the president is furiously battling the perception of a White House with no strategy and no direction. Trump made no public appearances today, but we did hear from him quite a bit on social media as he jumped from one topic to another on his Twitter feed, underscoring what the Los Angeles Times describes as, quote, the scattershot focus that defines his stream of consciousness presidency. Among the things on Trump's mind, quote, I have gotten to know President Bolsonaro well in our dealings with Brazil. He is working very hard on the Amazon fires and in all respects doing a great job for the people of Brazil. And no bedbugs at Doral. The radical left Democrats, upon hearing that the perfectly located for the next G7 Doral National Miami was under consideration for the next G7, spread that false and nasty rumor. The G7 was a great success for the USA, and all lamestream media coverage bore no relationship to what actually happened. And this, wow, yet another big storm heading to Puerto Rico. Will it ever end? Congress approved $92 billion for Puerto Rico last year, an all-time record. In reality, Congress approved less than half that, and less than $14 billion reached the island by the end of May. The Federal Reserve, the president continues on Twitter, loves watching our manufacturers struggle with their exports to the benefit of other parts of the world. Has anyone looked at what almost all other countries are doing to take advantage of the good old USA? All that on top of what we heard from the president over the past 10 days. Greenland, I don't know, it got released somehow. It's just something we talked about. Denmark essentially owns it. And strategically for the United States, it would be nice. The fake news, of which many of you are members, is trying to convince the public to have a recession. Let's have a recession. I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. So I'm taking on China. I have confidence that in the end, Kim Jong-un, who I've gotten to know very well, will do the right thing. China called last night our top trade people and said, let's get back to the table. So we'll be getting back to the table. I have good feelings about Iran. I have good feelings that it'll work. It would be better to have Russia inside the tent than outside the tent. Uh, Do we live either way? Yes, we live either way. Is it politically popular for me to say that? Possibly not. I do nothing for politics. Meanwhile, at home, there are new signs that Trump's trade war is taking its toll on one of his key voting blocks. The New York Times reports, quote, American farmers have become collateral damage in a trade war that Mr. Trump began to help manufacturers and other companies that he believes have been hurt by China's unfair trade practices. More than a year into the trade dispute, sales of American soybeans, pork, wheat and other agricultural products to China have dried up. Farm bank. 13% from 2018, and loan delinquency rates are on the rise. Earlier on this network, the head of the National Farmers Union described members' fears. More and more farmers are coming to understand that, listen, what this president is doing is harming our reputation. And it's literally going to take us decades to get some of these. We may never get some of these markets back. Amid all of this, there's other news involving the president. The Washington Post reports that Attorney General Bill Barr has booked a $30,000 Christmas party at Trump's D.C. hotel. Paper also reports on Trump's new directive to fast track a border wall and he wants it black and he wants it by Election Day. Quote. Trump is so eager to complete hundreds of miles of border fence ahead of the 2020 presidential election that he has directed aides to fast track billions of dollars worth of construction contracts, aggressively seize private land and disregard environmental rules, according to current and former officials involved with the project. He also has told worried subordinates that he will pardon them of any potential wrongdoing should they have to break laws to get the barriers built quickly. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.